What a dooski! It's your boy Farewell34, and today I'm here with my Defenders Season 1, Episode 1 reaction and review. So, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, it has reaction and review. So, pretty much, I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I've been binge watching the last couple of episodes of Iron Fist, as you guys can tell by my recent feed. Literally, like an hour before the Defenders, I just finished uploading the last episode of Iron Fist, so, uh,. Shoutouts to me for, for getting that done. But anyway, The Defenders is here and it's upon us. I know some of you guys are expecting my episode one reaction. Hot, ready on the, you know, right, ready to go. So pretty much this is just going to be a review and my kind of like my reaction and thoughts of episode one from way back when. Because if you guys didn't know, I actually attended San Diego Comic Con and I was in the Marvel The Defenders panel. And they actually surprised all of us by playing the first episode of The Defenders. So I actually saw it a month ago. So I'm just going to give you guys my quick thoughts of what I thought about the episode. Episode, but don't worry guys after episode one I promise you it's gonna be regular reactions as usual and again guys I'm doing this just because I wanted to give you guys something for the first episode but as well I didn't want to give you guys a disgenuine reaction and waste both my time and yours so anyway let's just get right into it the defenders this is the culmination of the Marvel Netflix phase one or whatever you want to call it uh, wave whatever you may have it and you know this has been a couple of years in the making when I saw it for the first time I'm not gonna lie I, I just thought it was fine. I thought it was all right. Um, did I love it? No. Did I hate it? Not particularly. Um, but I just was. I thought it was. I thought it was all right. It was a good setup episode. That's what I would say. What I thought it was. It was a pretty good filler and kind of catch up to where all these characters in this universe that we've been established have been. You know, it's been six months or so since Matt Murdock has been Daredevil. Um, it's been a while since we've seen Jessica Jones. What's she up to? And, you know, the other characters in her universe. You know, we've seen Hogarth more than we've seen her recently uh, in Iron Fist, for example. So that's pretty much what this episode was. It was just getting a good touch, touching base with all these different characters and these different cornerstones of Manhattan and, and, and in New York City. So in that sense, I thought it was really good. We get to see how, how, how Luke gets out of jail because last time we saw him he went into jail so that was dope uh we get to see what colleen and danny have been up to traveling the world trying to stop the hand that was dope i like i like i i think as a setup it was good they had quite a bit to go over you know what i'm saying another thing that we see in this first episode is the big bad for the season for the defenders that's gonna bring them all together to you know be their antagonist and that is sigourney weaver the badass she is as alexandra no actually we get to learn about her motivations she's dying she needs a cure she's Apparently, she's the, the top of the hand. Uh, even, we see in this episode, she even, like, puts Gao in her place, so she's above her. So, I don't know, I was like, I was like, Gao, how are you letting her do this? But I guess just to emphasize that she's a badass and higher than her. Gao's been calling shots this whole entire time just to have somebody else walk in. It felt a little weird. I think acting-wise, this was fine. I think everyone did a solid job. That being said, what I'm really looking forward to, because as you know, they don't come together this episode, what I'm looking forward to in the next episodes is how, you know, they're going to act and their their chemistry with one another, like which defenders are going to meet. How is their chemistry going to be with one another, both on the battlefield and how they just communicate with one another. So that's going to be really awesome to see uh, them bickering with one another, what kind of dynamics they're going to have with each other. It's going to be awesome. I thought there was some humor too. I remember when we were at the panel, Nick and I, uh, they were saying how like Jessica Jones is going to be re like the, the main humor. So I think we see a bit of that in this episode, but I'm expecting more of that later on. And I hope we get some other characters, not just, I hope they don't just pin the humor on Jessica and it gets kind of flat getting into some negatives uh not too many i just thought it was kind of like a poorly paced episode i thought it was just kind of dull here and there this is something that i noticed and some other people know this as well was every time we go to one character to another they have their sort of aesthetic where when we go to harlem and we see luke cage it's kind of this like orangey kind of filter and then when we go to jessica jones there's this kind of blue you know kind of like flat filter um and then daredevil has a sort of like reddish tone and then iron fist just has that neutral kind of look it's like very apparent when i saw it for the first time it got kind of annoying and I don't know if they're just trying to, you know, emphasize and they're doing something stylistically with that on purpose. Like, I think that's cool, but I really hope they don't continue doing that or they do it at least until they meet because I can find that I can see that getting annoying really quick. Another thing was I thought the directing was kind of weird this episode. I thought it was just I don't know. I it was a little off to me. A lot of motion, unnecessary motion. Again, I thought it was just a little fairly slow and kind of just like a. A rather dull episode for the premiere of the Defenders, although the ending was pre hype. Me and my buddy looked at each other. We're like, yo. Infinity War. Like, that pretty much wraps up my thoughts on the Defenders. I thought it was an alright first episode, great setup, uh, hopefully leads into a great 
rest of the season with seven episodes. Again, we only have eight episodes, so hopefully it's tight, compact, um, narratively speaking, and it isn't. It doesn't like die off in the second half, or not die off per se, but just not be as good as the first half of the season, as most of these Netflix shows have been, in my opinion. Anyway, that's it for my Defenders reaction and review for episode one. What did you think about this video? And more importantly, what did you think about the episode of The Defenders? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. That's it for this one. If you guys enjoyed me talking to the camera, you know, in, instead of a reaction, uh, let me know. Maybe we could do more of these and I could do it in a more, like, nicer setup downstairs for maybe, like, topic or news or something. But just let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Anyway, that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.